Hey guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. Thank you for joining me. So today we are going to be talking about my project pan update. So it's a finale and I'm sure I did it January to January last year so I could carry it on for a few more weeks um, but I just want to be done with it. I think we're just going to be doing 10 uses on everything in 2022 apart from a palette that I want to pull um, just because I've hit quite a significant pan on that anyway um, but yeah I mean going through my products and then just doing 10 uses putting it away and moving on to the next one because I just get bored guys and I do shop my stash as well so I can't really hit significant pan and I make significant progress even though I did it on one thing and we'll talk about that first so this one we all know this has been going a while so it's the revolution and imagination highlight to the moon and the only things I've got in here now are the highlighters which I'm gonna keep because eventually I would like to I've used everything in the palette, I've never done that before but I've used the face powders and the like bronzers and the contour shades even the one that I thought I couldn't use, I think it was this one, can't deal it was really really dark but I made it work so we've only really got the highlighters to use but I'm going to put it back and maybe bring it out next year um, so that could be a possible face palette for 2023 um so yeah that's um going back into the collection right so i didn't really use this a lot this past year but it's chanel guys and i want to use it or try and use as much of it up as possible i did hit pan i forgot about that did hit pan quite a bit of pan so we'll leave that in i am bringing another like bronzer highlight hybrid palette in but if I want a cream or I could use them both together I could put this on first and then the powder over the top that's one way of getting rid of them my hair is in my face so yeah we'll keep that one in perfumes I went through quite a bit of perfumes this year and then this one here this Katy Perry Meow has been in ages um, it's been in months at this point but just trying to figure out how much I've got oh right it's just here so we've just got a few uses the line is just literally there i don't know if you can see it um so yeah we've just got a few uses of that and then i'll be bringing a new one in don't know what yet um but yeah we'll just finish that up um foundations i've still got this one um forgot about it because i've been using other foundations it's the ps my perfect color perfect finish foundation it's medium to full coverage it doesn't feel like medium to full coverage though i will use it up um so yeah that's the foundation there's honestly this is all air bubbles so there really isn't that much to use so we will use that up also there's not much to use in this japanese face primer so i'm going to try and get as much of it out and probably by the end of january i'll be done um, so we'll keep that in as well right so I've had this in a while as well but I do want to get as much out of this as possible it's the MAC soft and gentle so again it just looks like that so I want to try and use that more this year and the blushes as well I didn't really use them that much last year so we've got the Too Faced mini love flush love hangover I mean I've certainly made a dent in it, you can definitely see that there's a dent there um, but when it comes to this next one now, I don't know what possessed me to put this in so it's the NARS Orgasm, it's a super size one and I've not made a dent in it guys so that's going to stay in for another year and we'll see what it's like next year um, there's another highlighter here that I wouldn't mind trying to get out of the collection. I've hit pan on this as well. It's Becca. It's in the shade Opal. It is a little bit too dark for me. I should have always bought Moonstone but I bought Opal and you can see just how dark it is. So that's it there. I mean I can make it work for sure. But on my skin there you can see how dark it is on my skin. Um, 
but I could use it for like inner corners it would just take that bit longer to use up so yeah we'll keep that one in as well and we've also got this highlighter there's a lot to get through but a lot of them have hit significant pan on them so this one is Colourpop's Super Shark in Lunch Money I love this highlighter that's it there so I'll just put it next to Opal and you can see just how much lunch money is right for my skin tone and how much Opal is in it right this one can be decluttered now so it's the Physicians Formula Sexy Booster Bronzer and as you can see I've used most of it there's just a little bit here which I can't get to and this corset barely anything comes off so that one will call done this one is also done it's the Becca backlight priming filter everyone loves this I mean it's okay guys and I have got another backup of it um, which I will use it needs to actually go into my collection now because it's in the box in my drawers so I will use it but I'm not the biggest fan of it I don't get what the hype is um, a brow product as well that I've used up is this Glossier Boy Brow I wouldn't repurchase it I don't think it's all that I feel like my Makeup Obsession one was just as good as this so I'll buy the Makeup Obsession one again I think the Makeup Obsession one was £6 and that's like 18 so why would I why would I spend £18 on a brow product I mean it's different if it's Benefit but it's Glossier I'm not saying Glossier aren't good I'm just saying I have had two products now from Glossier I've had that and the Future Dew and they're both really really hyped up and it's not that I don't like the Future Dew either I just feel meh you know a, a bit like that about it and Revolution do a glass skin primer which is just as good it just doesn't have those skincare properties in it but I like that about it because it doesn't have that smell that Glossier does have um, so I'd get the Revolution one over the Glossier one and I think the Glossier one's £23 as well so you're saving money um, so we've got this Dior lipstick in the shade underground and there really isn't that much on I don't have any excuse for why I haven't used it up it doesn't smell like play-doh so I'm going to roll it in again and try and use it up over the next few months when I need a nude lip I'm going to go to that one rather than picking one out of my collection and it will soon be gone same with this as well when I want a gloss this deck of scarlet one um, this one is in the shade love spell so I'll do the same with that I think this one yeah it's leaking um this one is my favorite shade i want to get a dupe for this shade and i've looked high and low i thought posh spice was a dupe for it but it's not the the shades are two completely different shades lime crime do shades similar to these it's like a, a greyish like a greyish i'll swatch it and if you know of a similar shade then you can let me know in the comments down below but that's that's going in empties so we've got this tinted brow gel by natural collection um, which is quite good the only thing I don't like about it guys is the thick spoolie it's really really thick um, and sometimes it kind of gets up here but yeah I really do like that so we're working on that one now um, and I'm still working on this this one's nearly done as well this one's leaking a bit but I'm going to try and finish it off it's more or less done let's just call it done hey um, because it is more or less done there's hardly anything there so that's the lipstick that I want to find another one that looks like it it's just it's like a brown but with a grey undertone and I'm sure Lime Crime do a dupe for it I'll have a look and see um, see if they do I have actually got some boots points so I'll see if they do a dupe for it and if they do I'll just buy it out of my boots points because I really do like that shade um, but that's everything from last year's um, that's everything from last year's 
project pan I did the 21 in 2021 I'm not going to do that this year I'm just going to do the project 10 uses um, on as many products as I can and I'm going to make a tally of what products I've, I've used and then at the end of the year we can see just how many products I used throughout the entire year so I'll tell you what I'm keeping in so I'm keeping in the NARS orgasm the Too Faced blush Um, the Chanel bronzer so I will use these products as much as possible but when it comes to like face palettes and eyeshadow palettes just do the project 10 uses on that um, I'm keeping in this perfume wrong way around I'm keeping in this perfume it should be done soon these two products should also be done soon so we're keeping in the Japanese radiance primer and the Primark foundation the um, lunch money highlighter the um, Becca opal highlighter I think I should put one of these back in the collection right we'll put this one back in the collect shall we I'll keep them both in I'll only use them when I want to use them basically I mean this one I'd like to finish by the end of the year that one in opal I don't think I will because I just feel like it's too dark for me I feel like I'll just use it on the inner corner of the eye so we'll see what damage we can do with that um, this essence all about matte powder will probably be done by the end of the year um, I don't use it a lot because I don't really like it I use it under the eyes sometimes and I use it to like set my bronzer um, so that's in there I didn't show it to you because it was on the bed because I've just used it so that's going to be in there these two lipsticks are going to be in there at this rate there's going to be 22 products before I know it um, and then we'll have setting sprays and things like that so that's products that we used last year and that we're bringing forward again so how many have we got in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten have you already counted them so where's that oh, 12 so we've got 12 products here which I'm going to try my best to actually work on and then um, I'm bringing in a face palette I think that's the only thing I'm going to bring in a face palette and then um, other products will just try and do the project 10 uses with I think um, I haven't finalised it in my mind yet but especially when it comes to eyeshadow palettes and things like that use them 10 times or use one shade 10 times and then move on to the next um, and then just try and get more use out of my palettes in 2022 I know a lot of people do the project pan 10 uses and they've made a lot of progress so I want to see what I can do but it just makes it harder because I do shop my stash as well so I'm always rotating through the collection and because I'm always buying new products the only thing is to buy less products and um, so maybe I can try and do that in 2022 um, fingers crossed but yeah I mean this is everything in the box so far in the next video we'll talk about what I'm bringing into project pan 2022 and um, that's everything from project pan 2021 oh guys this concludes the video hope you've enjoyed the update guys i really do appreciate you watching please like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next one bye guys